G'day and welcome to this episode. Uh, in this episode we are going to install a uh, TRW uh, electrical servo pump, steering servo pump in the Range Rover Classic uh, frame uh, to the Range Rover Classic. This is a 1976 with a heavy, I think it's called, um, servo steering box. It's the upside to this is uh, the pump has an in inbuilt valve. Uh, if I'm getting this right, uh, I hope I get this right. It's uh, an inbuilt valve, um, pressure valve. So when the pressure goes up, the pressure, the, the pumps works. The pump starts working. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm shit. I explained this. Uh, but anyway, the so when you the engine is idling and you are at the parking lot or out on the trail, um, it's as easy to steer as if you're revving the engine with the, the pump uh, on the, the the belt on the engine. So um, yeah, um, this way you have all the power steering when you need it, not when the engine revs is high. So um, yeah, hopefully this will work out good. Uh, but anyway. I uh, hope this episode will help you if you are thinking about installing a... Uh, I keep looking down because I'm making this intro uh, after all is done. I, when I went to edit I realized I haven't done any intro. So the servo pump is already here. <laughs> so I hope this episode will help you if you are installing an electrical uh, electric uh, servo pump for the servo steering on your Range Rover Classic. This works on every car, I guess. Uh, I read this pump has uh, 100 bar, uh, can, can put out 100 bars of pressure. And originally this uh, pump on the motor, on the engine here, had about uh, 65 bars pressure. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so, stay tuned. So there's one bracket for the uh, electric pump. Here is the other one. I uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'll weld that over here, and I will make a third one in the frame here. And this oil pressure line, uh, I'm ordering uh, a copper line instead of this plastic crap. Um, this might get brittle over time and I mean it will melt and break. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Uh, this is just temporary. So yeah, don't mind uh, this one too much. <laughs> I'm scribing a line uh, as good as I can 
with what I have. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the center of this one. Sort of center. One, two, three, four. There we go. <coughs> Bless you. And in this one, I will make a slot uh, because there are three uh, rubber bushing mounts. They are quite flexible, but uh, to be able to fit them, uh, I need to make one of them like a slot so it's easier to, to drop it in. Well, here is the bracket area. <laughs> uh, this is not bolted in yet. This is not bolted in yet, and uh, the rear one here is not welded to the frame yet. But uh, I think this will be good. Um, it might be. Uh, it's uh, probably quite strong. This is welded up to the uh, shock tower, and the other two welded to the frame. Uh, this is quite long and uh, it was hard to reach and weld. I didn't want to remove the steering box. I thought it will be uh, strong enough anyway. So, <laughs> But the rear one is going to be welded uh, all four sides. So, And this is welded to all uh, three sides, not at the bottom. But anyway, strong enough, close to the steering box. Uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, the other way. There we go. So I'm going to make a new. Or am I? This is probably good enough. I mean, this. I'm going to make a new one. Uh, <laughs> going from uh, pressure out here to pressure into the box. And this is the return up to this one. Uh, or. It might be the other way around. I have no idea. <laughs> I need to read up on that. But anyway, uh, the brackets is ready for this one. I'm going to weld in the rear one and I'm going to, of course, paint it all. So, um, yeah. And I'm going to figure out the electrical. This is uh, the brown is ground, uh, the red is uh, 12 volt uh, all the time. 12 volt. The uh, black one here is to ignition uh, plus 12 volt ignition and this blue with a white line is to the D plus on the generator and this one is probably a CAN bus cable. Um, I'm gonna cut that one and throw it away. I don't think I need it. Uh, either that or I'm gonna have uh, positive on this one uh, connected to the generator D plus. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, that's cool. So the pump only uh, runs when the engine is uh, running. Here is a little tech tip. Um, I marked the uh, lines, uh, I marked where, where the uh, bracket is going uh, with a felt tip pen and I'm going to grind up the paint from the frame now so I can weld it. Uh, when I do that, the um, my pen marks disappear. So, um, punch uh, like an outline of the corners of where the bracket is going. In that case, it's still there when you have grinded off the paint. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's an idea. <laughs> anyway, it's a bit uh, plenty of space here. like there and so hopefully these marks are still there after I grinded off the paint
to fit my finger in between here. So I will just push this one a bit uh, uh, east. Change of hat. Let it be light. Let it be spark. As a good friend of mine mentioned, I should do a list uh, of what I have left to do on the car. The um, first version was to here, and then I just kept going <laughs> after walking around the car for a bit. And I've um, struck oil in axles. I've um, filled oil in both axles. Oil in the transfer case. I have oil in the transfer case. That was a blast, filling that with oil. The uh, filling plug is stuck in there for good. So I had to take out the um, speedometer cable hole and fill that way. So, yeah, that was fun. I didn't film that. Um, I was cursing the whole time. So it's quite good. So, yeah, here's the list to do. Uh, I will probably, yeah, make more stuff to do of course but so far this is a list i will install the pump and i have the in sorry this is the out pressure out this is the return line just got to figure out uh, i think this is uh, pressure in to the box and this is the return line to the reservoir hope it is so so yeah, I didn't make it easy for me at all to reach all these, but um, when it's ready, it's good. I'm not going to remove this one in a while, I hope. <laughs> I really, really hope it works. I think it do. Uh, I tested it yesterday and the pump started. Uh, the pump is extremely quiet. Uh, I have to turn out the... Turn off the uh, the heater fan in here, uh, and I could barely hear it. So uh, I guess this is not going to be a concern uh, hearing the the pump. I think there is other things uh, uh, to worry about. Um, but I'm going to bolt this in in place. Um, these rubber bushings. I need to hold them because I have nylock um, nuts. To, to, to hold it in place. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is actually good. I think uh, this will be cool. If it works, it will be good. But anyway. Um, this is it for this episode. This is the first of uh, at least two. Of course. Because this is not ready yet. <laughs> uh, I have the electrical figured out pretty much. Uh, and the hydraulic side of the story too, but uh, that's for another episode. Uh, I'm just happy I have it in now, and I um, hope you like this episode. If you got a Range Rover, I mean, if you got a Range Rover Classic and uh, you want a servo pump that's working when it should, uh, on a parking lot, on the, on the trail, while the engine is at low RPM or idling even, this is the way to go. Uh, I hope this episode helped uh, uh, some. I think in a Range Rover you have no problem removing the uh, servo pump from the engine and the reservoir. I think it's a piggyback reservoir. It's somewhere else uh, under the bonnet. So I guess you have plenty of space for, for one of these. And if you buy them at the junkyard, they they are not expensive at all. And there, there seems to be plenty of them, at least here in, in Sweden or in Europe. Um, uh, the brand is TRV. I will leave a link in the description. I will actually leave a link in the description this time. <laughs> I, I say that, but I never do. But for uh, uh, what pump this is. So yeah, have a great evening or morning or afternoon or night, whatever. And... <laughs> Yeah.
hope to see you on the next one. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, feel free to give it uh, two thumbs down. See you on the next one.